G'day everybody, this is part 7 of the Speed Passion LM1 build series. Part 7, we will be pretty much uh, finishing, well, not so much finishing off the suspension, but getting towards the tail end of the suspension system. Um, what um, we did in the previous part, if you haven't watched it, uh, did the lower suspension arms. Now what we'll be doing is the upper suspension arms. Now um, I've gone ahead and done the left hand side. Um, this is the, like the upper deck or up uh, brace for the suspension. Um, I've put one of the caster blocks on and the suspension arm. Now um, when before I get into the actual assembly with the right hand side um, when you have the kit and you're building it uh, it will come with uh, three pairs of caster blocks. Now these caster blocks are labelled in 0, 5 and 10 degree uh, angles and to give you an example this one here is at zero degrees so as you can see this top bit here is straight uh, this is a five degree one and as you can see it's slightly angled down so um, so keep these for tuning uh, purposes later on but right now we don't need them because as I said earlier on I'm building this to the kit setup so that requires the 10 uh, degree uh, caster block. All right. So what we'll do first is we'll do some do start off with the small stuff. Uh, we'll need a small pillow ball screw, and what we'll do is we need to screw it into the suspension arm. Now, take note of the orientation of the suspension arms um, and always don't over tighten it alright so that's that done um, both uh, your front uh, your left and right uh, suspension arms are the exact same so it doesn't matter what side they go on uh, just remember that once you do one side you have to do the same but it's mirrored if that if you understand what I mean okay so now what we'll do is we'll get our two millimeter driver and we will get the caster block put it in and screw it on just don't do it all the way yet so and then we'll get the second one Okay. All right, so now we can screw it in all the way. Okay. Now what we'll do is we need our hinge pin and we will also need our um, suspension arm and we will also need a screw, a tiny, it's a small screw and we need two washers. One is one millimeter and one is half a millimeter. That's the thickness. So first off what we'll do is we'll put the suspension arm attach it to the actual uh, bulkhead oh, sorry not bulkhead, uh, caster block that's what I meant to say okay now we will put just be careful okay so first what I like to do is I like to put the big um, space washer in first like the thick one it just makes it a little bit easy for when it comes to uh, add putting it on. Okay, now what we might need to do 
is again like I did off camera just get some pliers this makes it not so cumbersome okay so now it's slotted in now we just push it in and now all right so now we've got we've got the hinge pin in we'll just push it in all the way now with our 1.5 millimeter wrench and driver whatever you want to call it <laughs> what we'll do what this screw does is it prevents the pin from coming out so same deal as always, not over tight, but you don't want the pin to slow, as the, as the suspension arms are moving, you don't want the pin to slowly work its way out. So this is going to be relatively easy to do now. So now, what we need to do, uh, you'll notice to, um, as you can see, the suspension arms, they're not dropping down by themselves um, it is tight but you'll find that just a little after a bit of use it will uh, free itself okay so now we just line up the holes and screw it in a little bit on each one because you don't want to tweak it okay this might be a little bit difficult I might have to just slot this one in with my pliers Turn this around so I can see. Okay, so now we'll just start tightening it all the way down. Um, when you're doing it, when you feel it nip, stop and then do the next one. Okay, that's nipped. It's nipped. And that's nipped. All right. The reason why I do it this way, because when when you refer to tweak in the RC community, tweak refers to uh, once if you for instance if I tighten this screw here tighter than the other three what can happen it can cause the chassis to slightly twist and what can happen then is you don't have full contact of all four tires on the ground so if it say it twisted slightly this way it will mean that the front right tire won't, won't have as much pressure on the ground so just a little something to uh, bear in mind when you're uh, tightening up the screws. So that's that section done. So what we'll be doing uh, for part what will be part eight. Okay, so what we'll be doing for part eight is we will be doing the uh, steering link for the servo and. Uh, steering rack and then we will be adding the steering rods and the steering knuckles so stay tuned for part eight